After the meteorite falls, monsters called Wild appear on Earth. Hayato Kisaragi and a certain girl meet them in childhood, since then he has been plagued by nightmares. He flies to a ship called the Small Garden, on which wild fighters are trained. He is met by two schoolgirls because his abilities are highly appreciated. However, he avoids contact with them and gets to school. Here, too, he is bestowed with great attention. He escapes from the crowd, but is immediately knocked down by a guy named Emil Crossfold. He says he missed him, and then introduces himself. Later, Hayato meets Laisha Saint Emilian and Fritz Glantz, who have been friends for a long time. Fritz notices that he and Emil have become good friends in a short time. Laisha adds as if someone is not a guy. Emil is amused by the words of friends. The opening ceremony begins. Deputy heads of the academic council Erica Candle and Liddy Steinberg greet the newcomers, then introduce the president of the academic council Claire Harvey. Her speech is interrupted when two girls run into the hall. They apologize and say they were late because they met Hayato. They are told that he has been here for a long time, and it was decided to exclude the girls for violating discipline on the first day. Emil says that they cannot be expelled for a minor offense. Claire replies that this is a fighter school, and one mistake on the battlefield can lead to the loss of an entire squadron. Emil continues the dispute and is threatened with expulsion. Hayato tries to calm him down, but to no avail. He is asked if he agrees with the president's decision. He replies that he objects because the girls were late because of him, and Emil stood up for them, so he asks for leniency. Claire agrees to change her mind if he defeats her in a duel. Emil shouts agreement. Later, he cheers Hayato on and brings her to his girlfriend Charlotte Demandias and her assistant Mei Mei. Charlotte is the main researcher of hundreds of meteorite stones, which give strength capable of resisting the wild. Such a stone is controlled by people compatible with it, and it also takes shape depending on the owner. They are considering the abilities of Claire and her hundreds. Then Charlotte passes the stone to Hayato and they move into the training room, dressed in special costumes. Emil notices Hayato's look and is embarrassed by it. He doesn't understand what the problem is, since they're both guys. Emil suggests getting down to business and explains how to activate the stone. Hayato executes the algorithm and it turns out that he has a powerful hundred. Emil activates the stone and immediately begins intensive training, explaining that the president will not stand on ceremony and the fight is tomorrow. In the evening, Hayato says goodbye to Emil because he needs to visit his sister in the hospital. He apologizes to sister Karen Kisaragi. He kisses her on the forehead and she breaks into a smile and forgives him. A nurse named Meharu Kashiwagi says visiting hours are over. He comes to his room and in it Emil, wrapped in a towel, who throws him out. When he wakes up, he panics because he is lying on the guy's lap. Emil says that they are roommates. He offers to sew the emblem to the jacket, but pierces his finger. Hayato immediately provides first aid, saying that he always does this. The day of the duel comes. Claire declares that she will not use full force so that the fight does not end too quickly. A duel begins, and Hayato immediately rushes to her, knocking her down. He puts his hand on the wrong place, which confuses the girl, gets furious and starts firing a laser at him. At Emil's command, he puts up an energy barrier, responding in kind to the girl. She also uses a shield and remains unharmed, after which she fires a final volley of laser. He loses a lot of energy, but when she prepares to use an explosive cannon, he rises, which shocks the audience. She shoots, and he feels the heat on his body, after which he manages to deflect her blow. He pushes her with blows. Then she decides to shoot at point-blank range and he uses full armament. This is surprising, since he uses a hundred for only two days. She has no other choice and uses her power to its full capacity. He spends too much energy, from which he loses consciousness. Emil checks the guy's condition, shouting that the girl promised not to use full force. Charlotte arrives, who calms him down and says that Claire won anyway. She refuses to win because she believes that she has lost to herself. Hayato comes to his senses and worries that the guys will be expelled. Claire says she reversed her decision and asks who he is because he did the impossible on his first day. Emil comes and stands up for the guy. Claire says she came to apologize and is already leaving. When Hayato got better, Emil calls him to the center, the business district of the small garden. Hayato notices the looks and Emil says that many saw yesterday's fight. Emil treats him to ice cream, after which she tries it from him. The surrounding people whisper about the closeness of the two. Hayato suggests going somewhere else. Emil takes him to a park overlooking the sea. Hayato notices that there are a lot of couples here. Emil says that he wanted to visit this place with him, adding that it is even more romantic here in the evening. Hayato gets a call from a sister who decided to keep them company. She suspects that Emil is not a guy, but leaves everything as it is. They see the scoreboard on which Sekura Kirishima is performing. Hayato promises to take his sister to the singer's concert, which will be held on the Zue Islands. Then they have lunch, but they are interrupted by members of the school board, among them a guy named Chris Steinbelt, Claire's henchman. 
She then recruits Hayato into the Chosen Ones, a special unit under the student council. Emil wants to join, but he is refused because he does not meet the requirements. He activates a hundred to show what he is capable of. Liddy accepts the challenge to a duel. After a few blows, they decide to end the duel ahead of schedule due to anxiety. Wild animals have been found on this way islands. They come to the headquarters where dozens of other people work, including May and Charlotte. The current situation shows that three wild ones have been detected, one of them has an unknown strength and belongs to a complex class. Claire says that the guys are talented, but they have no experience, so only she, Liddy and Erica will go into battle and later reinforcements will arrive to them. Hayato asks to take them with him. In his support, Charlotte says that she also advises taking them with Lisa, the main machine and energy source of the small garden. She thinks, but agrees to trust Lisa's advice. An action plan is being discussed on the plane. First of all, Claire, Liddy and Erica will show the guys how to land and destroy the wild, and then the girls will go for the difficult one. The guys, after eliminating the wild one, finish their mission on this. Erica shoots the monster out of sight, then immobilizes it with chains. Claire pierces the armor, and Liddy pierces the core of the wild with his drill. Emil decides to jump off the plane, pushing the guy as well. He makes a smoke screen, and Hayato has to attack the core. Emil cuts off the monster's claw, which he swung at Hayato, after which he tries to hit again, but in vain, and he falls to the ground. Emil hits the core with an arrow, destroying the monster. At this time, Erica also immobilizes the complex wild with chains. Liddy prepares to strike with his drill, but the monster turns out to be a more difficult task, seriously injuring the girls. The guys, realizing that things are going badly, want to come to the rescue, but Claire is categorically against it. She loads her gun and shoots, and Wild shoots back. The sound signal from the bracelet informs that she has little energy. Wild shoots her again, but Hayato manages to save the girl. The Wild One is going to shoot at them again, but it will not be possible to escape again, because there is an airport behind, which needs to be saved, otherwise people will suffer. They find the strength to repel the blow. At this time, Emil lunges to break through the armor, but Wild tears the suit with his claw, exposing the chest with a scar. Hayato remembers the past and realizes that Emil Crossfoot is actually Amelia Gutenberg. He stops the wild man's claw and asks him to run away from here. She is glad that he remembered her and saved her again. He reincarnates and uses his full powers, losing his mind. Amelia brings the guy to consciousness through a kiss. He defeats the wild one, after which he loses consciousness, but she manages to catch him. She runs into Claire, who is shocked to find out that Amelia has been cheating on them all this time. However, she promises to keep her secret, but asks the guys to settle in different rooms. Emilia says that they are mutants because the poison of the wild flows in them. For this reason, they have high rates of possession of a hundred, but with a deadly threat, there is a loss of control. She promises that she will help him learn to control himself. They go to drink tea, but Hayato loses her balance and falls on her. He says it's because of the poison inside, and she kisses him. Claire comes into their room, demanding Emilia to move immediately, but she is confused by the actions of the guys. He gets up to apologize, but stumbles over his foot, falls on the girl and kisses her. Amelia gets angry and starts asking her to kiss her to be honest. Souffle Clirel, Secura's manager, asks for a personal security guard. In the training hall, the guys hone their skills. Hayato controls his condition. Fritz and Leisha are upset that they lost. Amelia says it's difficult to get Hayato to use full armament. These words encourage friends. Erika informs the guy that he is being called on a mission. He is chosen as a bodyguard for Sakura. He agrees, but asks for a concert ticket for his sister, after which he comes to Karen and tells her about it. She rejoices and asks for an autograph, adding that she has been guessing at his fate, and he needs to be wary of water and women. Later, he wakes up and sees Amelia in front of him. She hugs him and offers to go on a date. He replies that he has a task. She gets upset, but says she understands and wishes good luck. Liddy asks Hayato if he is ready to work. He confirms that he is ready. They meet Sakura and get acquainted. In the car, Sakura asks what his favorite song is. He replies that he doesn't listen to music often and asks for an autograph for his sister. She suggests to forget about the formalities and call her by her first name. At the hotel, she opens the door with a keycard and offers to go inside. She tells him that the bodyguard comes in first and begins to doubt that he is the same Hayato Kisaragi. He takes out a detector, checks the number and apologizes for the oversight because he was not a bodyguard. She opens the curtains and says that they are finally alone. She asks about his desire to marry her. She shows a video where he saves the Zwei Islands. She says she's interested in the young hero and adds that he's a bit clumsy but thinks it's cute. The guy is embarrassed by her words. She offers him a relationship before marriage if he does not have a girlfriend and adds that the singing singer of the world and the genius fighter are perfectly combined. She keeps talking about the future after the wedding. 
Then he decides to agree to the proposal and offers a kiss so that she will definitely change her mind. She is embarrassed and asks to stop, after which she goes to the bathroom. While she is washing, he listens to her singing. She asks to bring her phone to record new lines for the song. He goes into the bathroom and sees the mess, which begins to clean up. He quickly hands her the phone and leaves. Then he accompanies her to events. In the evening, she invites you to visit the stage to show something interesting. She changes into a costume, activates a hundred and begins to show her abilities. Charlotte says that her hundred type creates a field in which she can fly and create illusions, but her hundred is not suitable for battle. Souffle says he and Charlotte were colleagues, and Charlotte also saved Sakura's life. She lands and hugs the guy, asking if he liked the flight. He expresses delight. In the evening, he reports to Claire about the work done and adds that his next shift will start tomorrow from lunch. She invites him to her summer home. He goes to wash, but Amelia turns out to be inside. He is about to leave, but she stops him and invites him to her. She asks about today and is surprised that he calls the client by name. Amelia is jealous and asks to call her by her first name too. He says he always addresses her by her first name, but she asks to be called real. After she shows her scar and says that it has begun to heal, and then asks not to stare at her. He asks her out on a date after meeting Claire. She is insanely happy, having lowered him under the water after realizing that he can see too much and runs away. When Sekura prays, unknown people discuss a plan to attack people after the concert. Sekura remembers that she started making music because of her mom. At this time, a confused Hayato is perplexed by the sight of Claire. She explains that this is a summer house in which she is resting. She offers to look at her in a swimsuit before the meeting, but Erica unties the top. Liddy runs to help, but slips and falls unsuccessfully. Finally, Claire reveals that an unstable stone is stolen during an attack by the wild at a concert. Thieves will try to steal more, so you need to be on your guard. And Claire also offers a rematch after a duel in swimming and adds that she has already prepared his swimming trunks. But he refuses to participate in this, which upsets her. After the meeting, he meets with Amelia. She decides to be a girl and assures that no one from the students will see them. He praises her appearance and she offers him a change of clothes. He chooses something light, and at this time the girl is considering a piece of jewelry that she wants to buy as a souvenir of the day. He offers to pay. She thanks for the gift and says that when a guy gives a girl a pendant, he makes her his. They are about to leave, but notice Fritz and Leisha. They hide in the fitting room, where Amelia admits that this store recommended Fritz, but she didn't think they would run into each other. They get out and go to the park. She goes to get drinks. Claire is calling because Sekura is missing. She tells him that instead of revenge, he chooses to go shopping with Amelia. However, instead of apologizing, she will only accept shopping with her. He says he doesn't mind. His phone is snatched out of Sakura's hands. She says she wanted to meet him and tracked him by GPS. She calls him to a place where they like it. He hesitates with the answer, but thinks that if the girls meet together, it will be bad, and agrees to follow her, provided that she calls her manager. Amelia returns, but the guy is gone. They go in a taxi and he decides to call her, but Amelia's hands are busy. They arrive at the Zwei Islands Canyon, an expensive place for Sakura. She thanks him for saving the Zwei Islands and the memories of her mom. She sings a song. He says his sister often sings this song. Then Sakura says that this song was composed by her mother and no one heard her. She asks his sister's name and realizes that they have seen him before at the orphanage. Then he praised her singing, after which she fell in love with singing. After her father took her away and she got sick with a virus and lost her voice. At first Souffle worked with her, but when there was no result, her father took her to the place where Vitaly Atanyanova was experimenting, but her goal was not to cure, but to create fighters. Her voice returned and she calmed the children with her singing, but only she remained alive. Souffle and Charlotte found her and pulled her out of that place. Now she's a fighter, but she only has singing. He admits that he is also a mutant, but knows little about it. She is insanely happy with what she has heard and says that she has a lot of ideas for songs that she urgently wants to write. She runs to catch a taxi, but in the end they get on the bus. On the way, they get into an accident due to an attack by a wild one. Hayato begins to fight the wild. His location is discovered and help is sent. He feels much weaker without the suit. Sakura comes to his aid and activates a hundred. She says she can't attack, but she can defend. Together they manage to defeat the wild one. She throws herself into his arms and says that she fell in love even more. He worries that people won't understand her. Another wild one comes out from behind the rock. Sakura can't cope with the confrontation and is thrown back. Fritz, Leisha and Amelia come to the rescue, who eliminate the monster. Amelia gets between the two and asks not to leave her anymore. The wild one rises and begins the attack. The guys are trying to eliminate him again, cutting off the claws and piercing the armor, but he regrows body parts. Amelia comes up with and tells the plan, but when she sees concern for Sakura, she openly becomes jealous. Fritz asks to deal with it later and they begin the battle. Hayato leans back, after which Wild wants to shoot, 
but from Sekira's cry he stops. He charges again, and a guy named Kraven Alfred throws him into the wall. He is interested in the fact that the monster listens to her. A girl named Neset Alfred approaches Hayato, copies Hayato's weapon with the help of mutant forces and destroys the wild one. Laisha screams for her to stop contact with the monster's poison, otherwise she will go crazy, but in response, the liquid was licked. She wants to help, but another girl named Nakri Alfred stops her. They start fighting among themselves. Emilia confronts Nakri while Hayato fights with Kravan and notices that he is a mutant. Emilia swaps daggers for guns and shoots at enemies, but he puts up a barrier. She asks who they are, but her question is ignored. The guy says that their job is to collect cores for Vitalia and they are already leaving, as they notice someone approaching. The guys decide not to follow them, because they will not be able to resist them alone. Helicopters arrive and evacuate everyone. In Claire's office, the guys are told that they have met hunters. These are fighters who belong to an underground organization and do not follow the laws. They take the cores from the wild ones, because they can be made into unstable stones and used as a hundred. Claire expresses joy that no one was hurt, but chastises Emilia because she called students who are not among the chosen ones. But since they coped well in the situation, it was decided to invite them to the ranks of the chosen, to which they immediately agree. Hayato later apologizes to Emilia for abandoning her. Then he learns to dance with lightsticks from his sister when Sakura calls him to meet. She says that no one really likes the songs and they respond inside people because they are more and more infected with the virus in the world. Hayato reminds that he liked the way she sings as a child, which means everything is fine. She thanks for the support and says that at tomorrow's concert she will give her all. The day of the concert comes and everyone chants her name. Sekura activates a hundred, starts singing and flying. She's singing her mom's song for the first time in her career. Later, she gives an autograph to Karen, thanks them for helping her become a singer and offers to sing together next time. Later Hayato wakes up from the fact that Sekura is sitting on him, which he is very surprised at. Claire comes into the room and says that Sakura has been detained for trespassing, but the girl just hugs the guy and shows her tongue. Emilia comes into the room, but when she sees strangers with Hayato, she starts swearing. In the helicopter, a man named Judel Harvey, Claire's brother, talks about Lisa, who has an increased reaction to something. At this time, the guys go to the beach to relax after hard days. Sakura and Karen show their swimsuits, after which they offer to evaluate them and not the nurse's chest. Emilia is jealous, but the girl shuts her up and takes the guy into the water. Claire tries to support the girl, but gets a remark about her appearance. Sekura calls for a snack. Emilia is angry that the girl sticks to the guy so much. She gets the same remark in response and doubts about her orientation, so she does not know that she is a girl. She says that they are close with a guy, as they have been friends since childhood. Laisha calls to play ball, and the guys agree. The girl invests energy and hits the ball, which provokes a tough match. At this time, Erica and Liddy compete for the right to smear the captain with sunscreen. Judel arrives, admires the people present and takes Claire on important business. Later, the guys are collected and reported that they will soon be sent to the operation to clean up the wild. Judel stops Hayato and offers to follow him. He leads him to the place where Lisa, the power source of the small garden, is located, which turns out to be not a nuclear reactor, but the younger sister of Judel and Claire. The girl asks why he showed the guy Lisa and asks not to call their sister a thing. He replies that he wants Hayato to know how important it is to protect this place. In order to awaken his sister, he asks the guy to kiss Lisa but adds that he was joking and only needs to touch. Hesitating, Hayato does it, but nothing happens. Judel is upset that he hurried. They come back and she says that they can discuss what happened, but for now you can't tell anyone about it. Later, they fly on a mission and discuss an action plan. Arriving, everyone goes to their tents. A friend named Claudia Loetti runs up to Emilia and knocks her to the ground. She is glad to meet and calls the girl a princess. Emilia tries to shut her up, saying she's undercover. He asks about the title of the girl, to which he is answered with a growl. Claudia says that she is a fighter from Gutenberg and a childhood friend, after which she asks Emilia to return to her homeland, as everyone is waiting for the return of the princess. Emilia says she will never come back. Claudia cries and confesses her love. Emilia says she loves Hayato more than Claudia loves her. Then the girl challenges the guy to a duel. They decide not to use the power of a hundred. He hits back, receiving compliments from the girl, which Claudia is very angry about. She insults him and accuses him of stealing Emilia from her. In the end, he wins. But the girl does not let up and says that the training is over and you need to start a real duel. Emilia says that everything has already been decided. The girl screams that she remembered it and runs away in disgrace. Emilia does not like that Claudia has been identified in their squad, who constantly refers to her incorrectly and insists on returning. Claire stands up for Amelia and says that she supports the girl's choice to stay in the small garden. 
Claudia responds with humility because she knows what responsibility is. Later, Claire single-handedly defeats Wilde. Emilia offers to keep up and destroy the monster together. Claudia pops up and offers to see how the masters work. Emilia offers to look at her tricks. The girl prepared the wild one for finishing and shouted to Emilia to deliver the final blow. She makes the last stroke. Claudia immediately says that they are a great team and she copes better than the guy. At this time, the hunters are waiting for the fighters to do the job to take the cores for themselves. Claire praises for the work done. Claudia does not let up and says that Hayato did not finish anyone off. To this he replies that he does not mind being a bait, and most importantly, that everyone has tried well. After dinner, the guys distribute two shifts for rest and duty. The girl wants to be with Hayato, but because of jealousy Claire does not allow. Claudia sticks to the girl, but she is against it. Hayato can't sleep. Claire says that a good sleep is part of the operation. Later shifts change. He talks about the stars and how he wants to show them to his sister, but apologizes for reminding him of the patient. She replies that everything is fine and is glad that he takes care of his sister. He tells her that her sister is ill and cannot move freely. She says she dreams of creating a world where everyone can admire the stars. Claudia comes to them and says that they are chatting nicely, and she also noticed a shadow by the water, possibly wild. She suggests they go on a reconnaissance mission, and she will call for help. If there is no danger, they will be able to continue their date at the lake, she adds. The guys blush at her words. At this time, the hunters turn on the communication silencer. They notice Wild, but can't contact Claudia. Claire decides to fight alone. She almost comes to an end, but the guy manages to save her. She thanks him and says she can't come back dirty. They come to the lake. Emilia can't sleep, and Claudia calls to join her. She says that Hayato and Claire went on a date to the lake. Claire is sitting in the water, asking about the control of forces and what it feels like to feel the power of a mutant. He replies that the training is going well, and the feeling of strength is as if all the senses are moving away and time is flowing slowly. She says that poison was injected into the egg and her sister was already born a mutant. Then Vitalia was an assistant, their mother was the main one in the project, who decided to defeat the gods themselves by creating fighters. Lisa was a talented child, but one day in a moment of danger she released the inner energy of a mutant and has been sleeping ever since. Now she continues to release so much energy, powering the ship. Claire says that she became a captain so that her brother would not use their sister as a tool. She considers herself selfish, being in a high position for the sake of her sister. He says that he became a fighter only for the sake of his sister, but since he has the power that can give happiness to everyone, he will use it. An urgent call arrives. He is informed that three hunters attacked the squad, which all went down. Fritz and Liddy were the last to be put out of action, from whom hundreds are being taken. Claire scares off the hunter. She tells them to give up, as she is stronger. It's starting to rain. Robin says that luck is on their side. They're attacking her weapon, not the girl. She tries to fire a laser at the hunters, but the rain extinguishes. She does not have time to react, she is thrown off the cliff and is going to be eliminated completely. But he is attacked and immobilized. The whole squad comes to the rescue. However, Kraven does not give up and gets out and engages in battle with Hayato. Emilia deftly dodges Nakri's attacks. She chains her to a rock and says she needs to let go of the weapon or she won't be able to move. Nakri braves and says that the girl can finish the job. To this Emilia replies that it is not necessary to ask her twice. Nesat is angry, but Emilia also copes with her quickly. Nesat tries to copy the girl's weapon, but does not have time. Emilia puts the sword to the girl's eye. She asks what her eye is for, to harm people or to admire the beautiful world. Kraven laughs at the girl's words and says that they have only seen despair and are going to change this by becoming free. Hayato has visions of the hunter's past, how they escape from a bad place, how the girl loses her eye and how they come to Vitalia, who regains her sight. Kraven asks why he is fighting. Hayato is angered by the question, he replies that the reason is to protect people close to him. It activates the full armament. Kraven is also angry and begins to be absorbed by the mutant's power. A special wild one appears. The guy throws a bag of stolen stones and offers an exchange that they will take the core of this monster. He flies up to the wild one and attacks him, but because of the barrier he cannot get to the core. He is shouted to stop, but he is absorbed in the process. He retreats and gets shot by Wild. Hayato saves him, saying that he wants no one to suffer. Kraven asks to take care of his girls. Everyone is trying to break through the barrier. Emilia suggests shooting at the same time. Erika suggests that everyone unite for this. They ask the hunters to turn off the silencer and they agree. The connection is restored. Charlotte is asked to make calculations for the victory. They shoot at the same time but unsuccessfully. Charlotte reports that Lisa is offering a risky plan. Hayato must transfer the mutant's power to Claire through a kiss. Emilia is unhappy with this, but there is no choice. Hayato hesitates, but still kisses her, and she feels warm. 
everyone shoots again, breaking through the barrier. Hayato sets out to deliver the final blow and defeats Wild. They fall into the water and Amelia rushes after him. She sees that he is unconscious, kisses him. Everyone is being evacuated. The guy is still unconscious, but Charlotte says he will wake up soon. Amelia kisses a guy when Sakura and Karen come into the room. They ask what's going on. She replies that the guy got something in his eye. Karen believes the words that they did not kiss, since they are both boys. Hayato regains consciousness. At this time Vitalia realizes that her henchmen will not return, but this does not interfere with her plans. The fighters are fighting the wild ones. A girl named Wendy Velvet sees that there is no core in the wild. She hears a sound that knocks her out. Vitalia says that the test was a success. Later, Claire asks about her vacation. They thank her for the time spent and bring gifts, which Charlotte eats. Claire says that the hunters behave calmly and are in an underground room. Detectives also manage to find Vitalia, but she had already disappeared. She says she's going to step up security at the upcoming garden festival when they celebrate the launch of the ship. Sakura says she will prepare a special program, but it's a secret. Erika says that the preparation is in full swing. Fighters from other countries arrive to strengthen security. Claudia sticks to Amelia again, addressing her as a girl, which makes her very angry. Wendy, a friend of Fritz and Leisha, also arrives. External preparation for the festival begins. At the hospital, Hayato notices Sekura and decides to follow her. He looks into the ward and meets Charlotte and Karen there. They tell me that Karen is being prepared to perform at a concert. Hayato worries that it's hard for her body. They show him a hundred and say that thanks to which she will be able to perform on stage. During the long-term treatment, her compatibility with the stone has grown. He supports his sister, after which he is kicked out of the ward to continue the rehearsal. The day of the festival is coming. Hunters are brought food, but they continue to distrust people because Vitalia told them that they are enemies. They also remember that the stones were taken away, except for Nessat, because without the stone she can't see. At this time, Hayato and Amelia spend time together. They notice Leisha and Erika dressed in maid costumes. Erika justifies that they were asked to help. Amelia photographs a girl who hysterically asks to delete the photos. Leisha invites the guys to the cafe. Amelia doesn't like the guy's reaction of admiration. Erika offers to change Amelia into a maid. Hayato is worried because she is a girl. Amelia is brought out in a maid costume and Erika offers to evaluate how the missing places were compensated with a towel and demonstrates the check. As a result, he is pushed and photographed. Everyone is delighted and Erika gets a response of dirt and Leisha and Erika change into their uniforms and go to more important things. Before the concert starts, Hayato visits his sister and is worried about her costume, which makes her nervous. He soothes her with a kiss on the forehead. Sakura and Souffle come in and say it's time to go out. Judel comes to them. He meets Karen and wishes her good luck and a good performance. The concert begins. At this time Vitalia uses Wendy to get inside the ship. Sakura represents a special guest. Karen is nervous, but calming down, activates a hundred and starts singing. Vitalia disables the robot vacuum cleaner. Everyone is delighted with the concert. At this time, the guards discover Wendy unconscious. She regains consciousness, but does not remember how she got there and talks about wild ones without cores. On the street they meet a wild one in the form of a bee made of metal, which someone controls. Erika immobilizes him, but he self-destructs. Another wild one appears and heads towards the switchboard. Leisha takes it upon herself to eliminate the wild. There is an explosion that turns off the power. Erika instructs two schoolgirls to escort people to the shelter. The power supply network is damaged, the backup power is turned on. They understand that the purpose of these bees is switchboards. Rescue teams were sent to destroy mechanical bees and help with evacuation. A bee enters the server room and seizes control. At this time, Claudia is sad that she can't feed Amelia when a UFO is spotted. They are noticed late, do not have time to seize control, and they crash into the ship. The air system recognizes the virus, some of the radars are blocked. Charlotte says Vitalia was involved in the development of the ship and knows loopholes that she does not know. Wild ones made of metal crawl out of the wreckage. Charlotte calls them replicants because their image is taken from the wild. Erica is tasked with dealing with the bees and Liddy with the replicants on deck. Hayato and Amelia are sent to protect the hunters. They discover another UFO, which they are trying to shoot down, but it hits the barrier. Replicants crawl out of it. The shield strength is decreasing. Claire wants to go destroy replicants, but she is stopped as only she can control the fighters and maintain morale. They decide to send the guys to eliminate replicants. Hunters are stressed by noise from outside. Nakri says Vitalia is going to save them. Kraven says she wouldn't hurt civilians. Vitalia comes in and says that she attacked the small garden. Kraven says that he did not agree to help in causing harm. She says she doesn't care about his choice and turns on a device that makes a sound, after which she takes over the mind. 
At this time Liddy destroys replicants, Fritz and Claudia help her in this. Mei Mei runs to the hunters, she is attacked by Vitalia. Mei Mei deftly dodges, knocks the gun out of his hands. She asks about the condition of the guys, but gets an unpleasant feeling in her hand. She just calls her a robot, but Mei Mei doesn't think so and asks the hunters not to leave. Satisfied Vitalia leaves with them. She breaks deep into Lisa. Judel calls Claire and tells her to let him deal with Vitalia since she is his ex. At this time, she uses Nakri to defuse traps. Hunters don't want to go any further, but it increases the power of the device. Shots are flying from Mei Mei, who says that it will not leave so easily. Vitalia gets into Mei Mei and escapes. Vitalia comes to Lisa, where Judel meets her. He says he was waiting for her. She rejoices because now she won't have to look for him to avenge his betrayal. But first she will show the fighters how powerless they are. It includes an audible noise that acts on the fighters. He says he is impressed with the work done and offers to cooperate. She asks not to mock her and notices that the girl has woken up. He says it's a reaction to Sakura's songs, and he also used Vitalia again. She gets angry and releases the whole clip, but it doesn't do anything. He says it was rude to his sister, and eliminates it. He thanks her for helping him with his plans. She replies that she hates herself for being glad to hear it. At this time, Emilia crashes, and he auto attacks the largest replicant. Sekura is upset that she doesn't have the power to save everyone. But then they hear a voice and see the appearance of Lisa, who says that she has music that can suppress noise. Lisa kisses Karen on the forehead and grants her the ability to walk. Sakura calls the girl to sing a duet. They activate hundreds and start singing. All fighters can move and fight again. The guy, hearing the singing, activates the full armament and incapacitates the replicant. He spends all his energy bothering Claire. The replicant continues to attack. The hunters stop the blow. The replicant starts attacking them. Kraven decides to finish him off, but he turns on the electric trap. Claire decides to go help the others again, leaving Chris in charge. Nessat loses control and copies the replicant. Charlotte tells Claire that the girl, like her sister, radiates energy and if she is not stopped, a strong explosion will occur. Lisa comes into Hayato's mind. She asks to save the girl and kisses him, transferring energy. Claire is going to eliminate the girl, but the guy stops her and asks for a chance. She warns that he has little time, but gives the go-ahead. He makes contact with Nessat. She remembers Vitalia's words that fighters are enemies and treats the guy with aggression. Emilia blocks the blow and encourages the guy to save the girl. He claims that she is free and she doesn't need to fight. It releases a lot of energy. He sneaks into her mind and holds out his hand, saying that they are friends and she can trust. His words convince the girl and she comes to her senses. The guy is hugged by Emilia. The hunters approach him and thank him. Claire hugs her sister and thanks her for saving the small garden. Fireworks are set off at night. Emilia says that no matter what she wants to be with him, and kisses him. Hayato reciprocates and kisses her. The guys come to watch the fireworks, but they find the guys. Everyone is shocked, because they are guys. Then everyone will know about the real Emilia Field. Armed and angry Claire comes running, who says that she kept thinking where the two had gone, and they were hiding here. She fires a laser, but misses. 